Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. This is a very, very exciting day because today is a refeed day. Today is also rest day, which is why I'm looking a little bit more put together and I am so, so excited for what's to come today. Since I last checked in with you guys at 145 pounds, I also checked in yesterday with hubby on Saturday and my weight dropped to 143.7. Since then, it's dropped again this morning to 142.5, but as of yesterday, Darren already decided he wanted to give me a little refeed to help me push on, to refill my energy and glycogen stores, and to help me push on for the next week, which I know is going to be a hard week. You guys know from the last vlog, I was struggling. My energy was low, my strength was down in the gym, and to be honest, to push through these next three weeks was going to be hard. Darren has decided to implement a refeed on a rest day because my output is a lot lower. It means I can really utilize the extra food, I can really fill up, and mentally it will just allow me to push on for another hard week ahead. So it's just gone 7 a.m. I woke up pretty early this morning, like a kid at Christmas. I was excited, I was hungry for sure and I've prepared a lot of my meals for today and I'm super excited to take you along with me show you what I'm eating and yeah let's get this day started I'm gonna head indoors now meal one is just being cooked up I will show you what that is meal one for this refeed day is one egg white two whole eggs 50 grams of salmon and I've just cooked it up with half an onion some spinach and made it into a smiley face as always. With this meal, I've now got 50 grams of cream of rice and 50 grams of pineapple. I'm still tracking my water intake. I'm still tracking my salt. With all of my high carb meals, I'll be taking digest aid and glucose. I just need to add sriracha and some cinnamon on top of my cream of rice. And this is going to be absolutely delicious. There's just something so amazing about eggs, gooey eggs, and smoked salmon, and spinach. Unreal. And that little bit of onion as well. So, so good. To think there are some people in this world who don't like egg yolks. Please tell me you're not one of those people. Mm. So, so good. this cream of rice pineapple and cinnamon mm. and the cream of rice I've gone for today with this meal is the blueberry muffin flavor from CSM so so good it's just got that subtle hint of blueberry and it really is blueberry muffin flavor the only trouble is with cream of rice, because it's so creamy, it goes down so, so quickly. Normally I would have mixed berries with cream of rice, but we've opted for pineapple today for digestion purposes. Pineapple is very good for digestion, so it's gonna really help, hopefully, get things moving and make sure that everything digests really well today. it's gone far too fast and it's literally only quarter past seven 
Yep, I eat pretty quickly if you can't already tell. But now that that meal is done, I'm gonna go and wash up. I'm gonna head into the office because it's Sunday. So I've got all of my client check-ins to do, all of their video feedback to send. So I'm gonna make myself a nice herbal cup of tea, head into the office, crack on with work, and then I will pick you guys back up when I'm ready for my next high carb meal. So I finished all my check-ins and then I took myself onto the couch just to sit down for five minutes. And yeah, I fell asleep for over an hour. So it's time to go and get my next meal, but Milo's still enjoying his nap. Whoa, that first meal hit me. So my next meal is 60 grams of cream of rice, which I've already prepared this morning. I made this with the caramel white chocolate, and then I've got to add 20 grams of whey, I need to choose which flavor, and 20 grams of cashew butter. But what I really wanna try and do, which I've seen lots of people do, is turn this into a cream of rice cake. So I'm gonna add one of these whey's, and then I'm going to microwave it and hopefully turn it into a cake that I can then turn out and then pour some cashew butter over with some sugar-free syrup. So wish me luck. This is where we're at so far. I've mixed in the salted caramel whey and I've microwaved it for a minute at a time, like three times, and it's kind of cakey but I feel like it needs maybe another 30 seconds and then probably needs to cool before I'll be able to turn it out. And then I've mixed the 20 grams of cashew butter with this salted caramel callow fit sauce. And this should be awesome to drizzle on top, but I don't know, 30 more seconds? So I cooked it for another 30 seconds and then I've just popped it into the freezer to cool it. Can you tell I don't bake very often? <laughs> so it kind of worked. It's a bit wobbly still. You can tell I got impatient. Maybe if I'd let it set a little bit longer, but I'm gonna work with this. Let's get the syrup on. Definitely a little bit of cinnamon on top. Come on. That looks pretty decent. I'd say that consistency is pretty good. Now for the taste test. Oh, that is so good. Oh my God, yes, Bex. Freaking nailed it. And the consistency is actually perfect. Oh my goodness. It's like a warm sponge pudding. Tastes like salted caramel through and through with the cashew butter on top drizzled and the cinnamon. <sighs> I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this. This is so freaking epic. That meal most definitely filled me up, but having all of that, I'm just like, it's the carbs, they're making me sweat. And of course, my veins are going absolutely crazy right now. The sweats have calmed down just a little bit, but I now need to crack on with coaching calls because Sunday is not only check-in day, I've also got business coaching calls, but I am incredibly grateful that this little room has its own AC unit because I feel like I'm going to heat up with these carbs in my system. Darren just got home from his own check-in. He's also on a refeed today, which is bloody epic. And I mentioned to him that I am sweating and my temperature is rising when I'm eating. And he said that this is a really good sign. Yeah, it's quite noisy when it first starts. He says it's a really good sign. It means that my metabolism is fired up and I'm burning through these carbs. So yeah. Let's just crack on. I'm gonna get one call done and I'm gonna get my next meal. I've got so much to eat today. Time for my next meal and look at all of that rice. So in my next two meals, I've got steak and I've got chicken and 60 grams of uncooked jasmine rice. So I cooked up 120 grams raw weight. That equated to 470 grams of cooked 
correct weight. So obviously I've split that. I've got 235 here, 235 there, and 100 grams of steak. But problem is, I cooked up my normal load of veggies and now this is an absolutely mammoth plate of food to get down. So most definitely we'll be needing digest aid and glucose for this. The other thing that has literally just come through in the email and I'm so excited about is my stage photos from Portugal. I cannot wait. So I'm gonna eat this meal, I'm gonna download these files and I'm gonna have a look at my stage presentation video and photos from the Amateur Olympia. Two more coaching calls done and we are both back in the kitchen preparing our next refeed meal and I have switched from joggers into shorts because I am just too damn hot. So I have got my next meal, which is 100 grams of chicken, 235 grams of cooked rice, and my green veggies. What do you have, babe? Rice, chicken, bagels. And Darren has got chicken, rice, and bagels. Which would you guys prefer? A big plate of chicken, rice, and veg? or chicken, rice, and two bagels with jam. I'm down for this. Okay, so a refeed sounds great and all, but when you are four meals in and sweating after each meal and you feel so full, <laughs> you start debating life. I can't believe I'm even saying this because I was so hungry when I started the day, but I still have two more calls to go and two more big meals to get in as well but I have 20 minutes now to just sit here on the couch, hopefully digest, but my body is shaking. And I am most definitely feeling full. Just about to jump on my last call for the day, which is my team call. And as you can see, my next meal is on order. 20 pieces of sushi will be consumed after this final call of the day. And just coming out of the office, and here it is. So I went to a different place today. I went to a place called Sushi Do. I am pretty happy with this order. Let's see what it's looking like. So I've never ordered from this place before, but they do like a selection box where you can choose six different rolls and they'll give you three pieces of each. And I have to say, they look decent. Like these are their speciality rolls and my God, they look mega. So this is 18 pieces here. And then I just ordered two tuna nigiri because I just like plain sushi as well. I think I'm gonna put this all out on a plate and then I'm gonna take you through what I've got. Look at that. Okay, I am feeling pretty full and I was not hungry until this arrived. But what I've done is I've taken screenshots so I can tell you what I've ordered because I will not remember. This one here is the spicy tuna ceviche roll. This one is the clawsome roll, which is crab and tempura crumble. I was really intrigued by this one, which is called the crunchy corn roll. So it's got like crunchy corn pieces on top and again with tempura prawns. This one is the volcano roll, which has got a crispy tempura top, but has got shrimp crab sticks and avocado in the middle. This one here is the San Francisco. This one over here, which is so, so pretty, with this on top, is the tropical tempura shrimp roll. And then obviously these two are just plain nigiri. Oh my gosh. I'm really impressed with this. We've never ordered from these before. I hope they taste as good as they look. I'm going to try one of each on camera and then I'm going to sit and enjoy this meal because I haven't had sushi in a very long time. I don't know when I'm gonna get sushi next, so I don't wanna waste scoffing this and eating it too fast on camera. I'm gonna take my sweet time. Mmm, spicy tuna. That is very good. Oh, I forgot to use this. That is also very good. I'm impressed. Ah, the crunchy corn roll. This looked so, so interesting. 
So it's crunchy tempura and corn wrapped together. I was very, very intrigued by this one. Oh my goodness, that's really good. Babe, you would love these. They're so nice. Okay, volcano roll. Mm. That tastes like it's got Cheetos crumbs on it. That's really good. Mm. San Francisco, let's be having you. Sushi is so, so good. The last one to try. Tropical tempura. Mmm. That's nice because it's covered in avocado. Or should I say wrapped in avocado. But it has mango in the middle. That is nice. Okay. I'm going to have some ginger. I'm gonna grab myself a drink. I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. And I'll catch you guys for my final meal of the day. Ah, look who ordered the same as me. I was gonna this is very true. You did spot it. But your bag looks substantially bigger than mine. How many pieces have you got? 40. Oh geez. <laughs> 40 pieces, bloody hell. Ooh, now this is a party. I don't reckon you're gonna get all of this in. Probably not, no. 40 pieces is a lot. That's insane. So what's the verdict? You like? Yeah, it's good. It's decent, right? Definitely one of the better delivery ones. For sure. I think there'll be a regular one in the off season, 100%. It's just coming up to 9 p.m. now and I most definitely need to get my last meal in because I feel I'm going to go into a carb coma and want to go to sleep before I eat this meal. So my last meal is 45 grams of cream of rice, 20 grams of whey, two squares of dark chocolate, and you guys best believe I am making that cream of rice cake again. This time I made it with the white chocolate caramel cream of rice and the white chocolate perform whey. And I'm going to pour on top the dark chocolate with chocolate sauce. Just wait for it. look at that come on that does not look like diet food that looks like a proper pudding i am so so impressed with myself that i managed to recreate that but a chocolate version this time <laughs> what a meal to end today on so i'm going to close this video off here thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed my rest day my refeed me eating all of the carbs I will check in with you guys in a couple of days and let you know how I'm feeling, what my weight's doing, but I anticipate I'll probably have a drop midweek and possibly be at my lightest weight by the next time I check in with hubby on Saturday. So I will catch up with you guys in the next video. Bye for now.